Hello and welcome. We are Tayforge and in this lecture we'll focus on an overview of the ECS and the topics covered in upcoming videos. To begin with, let's introduce the subject of the ECS. As the name indicates, the ECS has three principal parts. Entity, which has neither behavior nor data. Instead, it identifies which pieces of data belong together. Component, which represents the data of your game or program. And system, which provides the logic that transfers the component data from its current state to its next state. So, in general, an entity component system architecture separates basic concepts. Entity is equal to identity. Components, which are data containers, and systems, which are responsible for behaviors. To visualize the process, take a look at the diagram. The system reads the local transfer components. Based on the logic contained in the system, it updates the local to world components, for example, moving from position X to Y. The system performs operations on all local transfers. The fact that entities A and B have in addition physics body and physics shape components has no effect on the system. However, you can configure the system by matching queries to require a specific component, for example, physics body, or alternately, to exclude entities with physics body components. Query will be discussed in the following videos. We would like to guide you step by step through the process of creating a 2D platformer game in Unity ECS so that when this series is finished, you can show off your acquired skills and project in your portfolio. We would like to introduce you to the following topics. Concept and basics, at which we will focus on issues relating to the I component data, I aspect, I system and system base. We will explain what subscenes are and how they work, as well as the Bay process and how authoring classes work. Also, an explanation of what archetypes and chunks are. Then we are going to show you transforms, especially moving, rotating and scaling. Also non-uniform scale. Later we'll move on to prefabs, where we will focus on instantiate prefabs and getting children. The next topic is dynamic buffer that will allow us to achieve least functionality in unmanaged code. Of course with burst. The last issues in part 1 are job system and entity command buffer. We will explain the parallel execution of the code in the ECS. In the second part, slightly more advanced issues, such as query which allows us to perform operations only when components are available and we also have the ability to refer to data. The next topic is scene management. We will focus on the possibility of changing scenes from within the systems. Also input, where we show you the management of input operations through ECS. Then physics, basic operations and slightly more advanced mechanisms based on physics shape and physics body custom components. The last topic is animations handled through ECS systems, and more. One other big announcement, we plan to release material at least once every two weeks. That's it for today. We invite you to follow us on our social media and also to support us on Patreon so we can deliver even better videos. Links in description. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up so we know if you find the material valuable. And feel free to subscribe. We are excited about what lies ahead and we will see you in the next video.